Famous painter Pablo Picasso once said, the bad artists imitate, the great artists steal. Genius street artist Banksy took him by his word and stole exactly this quote to create his own art. And this is me, wearing the appropriate t-shirt during last year's trip to Amsterdam. In this video, I will teach you how to steal a song the right way, why stealing is a beautiful way to come up with your own original work, and I will tell you a story of how I used the act of stealing successfully. This method consists out of three steps. Number one, copy. Number two, combine. And number three, transform. Let me explain. Step number one is exactly what the title suggests. You copy. But you don't copy anything. You copy the stuff you really love. The stuff that inspires you. In my case, the music that makes my heart sing. In the best case, you're not only copying the work directly, you are copying the method, the strategy, and the tools that are needed behind the scenes to create that outcome. Let me show you what I mean by looking at my latest original track called Ignite. This song is the perfect example for how I went from copying to combining to transforming. It all started when I was listening to a song by Don Diablo called Day and Night. More specifically, this part. Day and night. And as always, when I listen to great music, I get obsessed with this one thought. How the hell did you do this? So I sat down and experimented with a few different vocoders I had in my arsenal to try and recreate that vibe. Since I had done all this work, I thought, why not post a little comparison video on social media? Maybe I can help some people figure out how to use a vocoder or which vocoder to buy. And this is where it gets interesting. Out of nowhere, the video blew up, breaking in almost 1 million views across social media combined. But more importantly, by making this video, by copying Don Diablo's work, I was able to learn and practice, and that helped me to improve my own vocoder sound. And that leads us to the next step. This is where you take what you learned and you combine it with something else you learned. This idea of combining different influences resulted in my very own Day and Night remix. love the active remix culture in the electronic music scene. Every day you can find a new, interesting version of a song you love. As it is quite common for remixes, I kept the basic essence of the original song, in this case the vocoda part, including lyrics, melody, chords and tempo. The resonance for this was amazing. In fact, I never really got this many comments and messages of people asking me to put this on Spotify. The only problem is, I can't. I don't own the rights to day and night, but there is a way around that. Let me explain. Famous DJ and music producer Morgan Page says in one of his quick tip cards, there is no virgin birth. Everything new is simply a combination of existing parts from the past. Borrow from a wide sheen pool of influences, combine them in your own way, then hide the brush strokes. So how can I transform my remix and hide the brush strokes enough to create a completely original song out of it? In this case, the drop of my remix already had nothing to do with the original song. But of course, everybody would still recognize the lyrics and the melody, the main theme as the day and night theme. But if I just get rid of everything that is obviously part of the original, combine it with different ideas and influences I had over the years, I can make it my own and I can put it on Spotify. And that is exactly what I've done. So let me explain how I transformed this remix into an original song. Step number one, find new lyrics. Step number two, find a new melody. Step number three, produce it and put it on Spotify. I might be a decent producer, but I'm not much of a lyrics writer. Luckily, as many of you probably have seen already, there's a new handy little AI-driven helper called ChatGPT, and apparently he can also write song lyrics. It's not amazing, but it's definitely enough 
to give me some ideas on where this could go. So after a few hours and lots of trying around, I got this. I try to run, I try to hide I close my eyes, I look inside I've seen tricks to come alive The night is dark but I ignite After this major change, I believe we copied, combined and transformed this song enough for me to confidently say this is my original work. Do you agree? The song is on Spotify right now. I would really appreciate you checking it out. But before you go, let me say a few closing thoughts. I believe that if we like it or not, we are always being heavily influenced by the music that came before us. For me personally, music by other artists is the main reason why I got into music production in the first place. As famous producer Rick Rubin writes in his new book, The Creative Act, nothing begins with us. The more we pay attention, the more we begin to realize that all the work we ever do is a collaboration. It's a collaboration with the art that comes before you and a collaboration with the art that will come after. Hopefully this video inspired you to go out there and create. And if you don't know where to start, listen to these words by Austin Kleon. Start by copying what you love. Copy, 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 copy. At the end of the copy, you will find yourself. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.